Hi students, let us solve some exercise about vectors today. First, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Well, in the first exercise, they say, let vector a be equal to 2i plus 3a, vector b equals to 2i minus 4j, and vector c equals a plus b. So, they say that we must write the vector c in component form, we must draw a coordinate system and on it show vectors a, b, and c. And they also ask you what are the magnitude and directions of the vector c. So let us solve this exercise. Uh, what we know in this case, we know the coordinate, I mean, we know the components of the vector a. We know the vector a is uh, 2y plus 3a. We have that the vector b is equal to 2i minus 4a. And then we must find vector c that is equal to vector a plus vector b. Well, what we have to do, we say that vector c adding the uh, i components right will be 2 plus 2 i plus 3 minus 4 in a vector a so vector c would be in this case, 2 plus 2, 4i minus 3 minus 4 is, is negative. That's why it's the negative sign there, 1j. So we get that the vector c is 4i minus 1j. Now they ask you to represent, you know, uh, vector a vector b and vector c on a rectangular coordinate system um, i will just do one for each of them so we have here this rectangular coordinate system you know where we have you know the i components on the x axis and the j components on the y axis. Uh, we now know that, for example, vector a is 2i okay, plus uh, 3j. So the vector i, the resultant vector i, is going to look like this, right? So this is vector i here. We can do the same for vector b. And then in this case, vector b is 2i and then minus 4a. So the result on vector b here. Be like this, right? Remember, these are straight lines, of course. It's extremely difficult, you know. Uh, 
with the mouse just to make to to construct a straight line so that's why you know but you know all these are straight lines and then you know when we uh, find and represent vector c vector c would be like this we have 4i and minus 1j so result on vector is gonna be this one so here we have the vector c now in the next question they ask you what are the magnitude and direction of the vector C. So if we want to find the magnitude of vector C, we can say that the magnitude of vector C is equal to the square root of the square of x components. So it would be the square root of the square of 4 plus you know then the square of negative 1 and that would be a square root of 17 that is uh, 4.1 you know and then we're going to express this as just 4 Now we can find the angle, right? What is the angle in this case? We're going to find this angle, theta, that vector C makes respect the positive x axis, right? So now the angle theta will be equal to the tangent inverse of, in this case, we have just the opposite side is negative 1 the adjacent side will be 4 so it's tangent inverse of negative 1 over 4 so this will be equals to uh, negative 14.04 degrees or we can say that just is 14 degrees below Uh, the positive x-axis and our side in this case is done so we found vector c in terms of x components right we represent each vector in a rectangular coordinate system we found in this case uh, the magnitude of the vector c and we found the angle right all direction of the vector c let us then now solve uh, this or SSI the research size 17 and in their size 17 they say let vector e equals 2i plus 3a and vector f equal 2i minus 2a find the magnitude of a plus uh, sorry a uh, and f the magnitude of a plus f and the magnitude of negative uh, e minus 2f sorry this is e i said a e uh, plus f and minus e minus 2f so let us start by finding you know the magnitudes of e and the magnitude of f right so let us start with that so if e vector e is 2i plus 3a then i know that the magnitude of the vector e 
would be the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. That would be then a square root of 4 plus 9, so it's a square root of 13. Okay, so it's just approximately 3.6. Okay, so this is the magnitude of vector E. Let us now find the magnitude of the vector F. If vector F is 2i minus 2j, then the magnitude of f is the square root of 2 square plus negative 2 square. So it would be a square root of 4 plus 4, you know, so it would be a square root of 8, and this would be approximately, you know, 2.8. Now we have to find the magnitude of vector E plus vector F. So first I will find vector E plus vector F. So E plus F will be adding the I components, right? 2 plus 2 I right, plus uh, 3 minus 2a. So it would be, in this case, 4i plus uh, j or plus 1j, right? So 4i plus j or 4i plus 1j. Okay, this is my vector uh, vector E plus vector F. Now the magnitude of E plus F will be then the square root of 4 square plus 1 square. So it will be equals to uh, a square root of 16 plus 1, so it's a square root of 17, so it would be approximately 4.1. Now we have uh, the next question, there is C, where we have to find negative e minus 2f, so the first would be to find negative e if vector e is 2i plus 3a then negative vector e would be negative 2i minus 3a In the same way, if vector f is 2i minus 2a, then uh, minus 2f minus 2 times vector f will be uh, minus 4i plus 4j. Then now we can find minus e minus 2f. Well, it's going to be saying that negative vector e plus negative 2 times vector f so it would be uh, minus 2 minus 4 
i plus negative 3 plus 4 j. So minus e minus 2f would be minus 6i plus 1j. If now we find the magnitude of back, negative vector e minus 2 vector f, that would be the square root of negative 6 square plus 1 square. So it would be a square root of 36 plus 1. So it's equal to a square root of 37. And a square root of 37 would be approximately 6.1. So in this case, we found uh, magnitudes of vector E and vector F. Vector e plus vector f and negative vector e minus 2 times vector f. Remember, you know, that if you feel that these uh, exercises help you to learn these contents, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.